you know when we are all young we have this idea of what we want to become in the future when I was young my dream job is actually to be a taxi driver because I thought driving around it's pretty fun mommy I want to be a taxi driver next time he wants to be a taxi oh my god he's serious here son you need to learn the fundamentals of momentum heat and mass transfer to be a taxi driver okay ma'am you lied Hi guys, maybe I should try a more hip hop style of intro. So guys, my name is C to the B to the Ng. You can call me the CB Ng. Oh, I'm not going to do that again. So I just graduated last year, although I probably look like I graduated 10 years ago. <coughs> Someone is thinking of me. A lot of my friends and uh, juniors has actually entered the workforce and the topic about getting a dream job has always been like on the coffee table. We don't really have coffee tables. Anyway, this video is not about how to get your dream job. It's more about knowing whether your current job is something that you really really want to do for a long time. So let's get to number one. You actually don't get Monday blues because you're having fun all day. You know how almost everyone will be like, Oh my god, it's Monday, I got the blues. And now have a blue. And also the other T, G, I, F, wait. From your perspective, F is here. And I think it's a kind of mentality that people will have if they don't really love their job. Because when you really, really, really love the job, you kind of just want to do it all the time. Breaks are for pussy. Meow. So for instance, when you wake up on normal days, you'll be like, no, no, I don't want to wake Oh. Versus it's Monday, Monday number two. Kawaii ne? Uh. You can't stop talking about it when you're out with your friends. The moment when people start asking you about like what is your current project about and uh, and what really drives you in life, you just really can't like shut up. For me, I can go on and talk about like filming and 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 my and my projects non-stop for like an hour or something. If the person like don't walk away from me. Oh my god, I love my job. I love the project I'm doing. I love everything. Like life is perfect. What about you? Nah, I just have a lot of money. <laughs> Why is there a screwdriver in my room? Number three. You don't think about retirement. What do you want to retire for? Like, if you are doing something you love, there's no need to retire because when people retire, they actually look forward to do something that they want to do. And there are actually financial advisors that don't understand this concept and they just keep going on and on and on so when do you think you're gonna retire um no i, I don't think about retiring because i i really really love my job okay uh so let's say okay let's say let's say you want to retire no no i don't want to retire okay 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 let's imagine okay imagine you don't like your job okay 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 i get it okay let's imagine an alternate dimension Bitch, you there? I mean, think about it. You're gonna work for the rest of your life. The next 20 and 30 years. Doesn't it make sense for you to enjoy that 20 to 30 years? Like, logic. For those of you out there who doesn't have a dream right now, go search for one. Make that your dream. Maybe I should be a life advisor. I hope I give you some perspective to how I see uh, what a dream job should be. Speaking about dream, I have a new video next week. If you haven't subscribed, please do so at the button there, I think. Remember to like our Facebook page and hope to see you guys soon. I don't want to wake up. Oh! Oh! Oh, Tia. Tia.